on today's episode. The other day I was uh, in one of the second-hand shops around here and managed to bag this uh, little power supply. And uh, absolute bargain, only 20 euros, fantastic. I was so pleased, as I do have my venerable uh, Farnell supply here and uh, if you check out my videos I've also built one which is in a, another location right now but uh, I couldn't pass this up for that uh, for that price. Now this is on at the moment you can see the indicator light there and the only gripe I have with this thing um, is the racket that the fan makes. So I don't know if that's coming across well on on the video but um, the, the fan is obviously on constantly and just checking around the back there it's shifting a, a reasonable amount of air. Now I don't tend to work on any projects which need a particularly um, high level of current so this thing is, 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 is unlikely to, uh, to get uh, over, overheated. So there's two things I was going to look at. Let's just switch this off. It does your head in. Um, one was to find a, a way of controlling the fan on there so it's not on constantly. Uh, maybe get it to come on at uh, say 40 or 50 degrees. Um, the other thing would be maybe to look at replacing the fan, whatever type is in there. Probably a little computer type fan and see if I can find a, a, a low noise version of it. Now to solve the first problem I picked up one of these little um, microprocessor based temperature controllers and these sell for the princely sum of I think about uh, two euros fifty shipped even with the, uh, the little thermocouple incredible how do they do it and uh, just as uh, just as a test I'm going to use my venerable Farnell to have less noise this is just uh, needs a 12 volt supply and because I was holding the thermocouple, it's actually energized. What I've done is to set the temperature on here to 29 degrees. Now there is a, a two degree hysteresis on that. Uh, if I just take a, a lump of copper and uh, cool that down a moment, you'll see that when it gets to 29, the relay de-energizes. So the temperature is set to 29, so as it heats up, if I simulate that by just holding it, the two degrees hysteresis, so at 31, it clicks in and will turn the, turn the fan on. And to stop it sort of switching in and out, that uh, hysteresis is, uh, is quite a good idea. Quite clever, really. And when it gets back down to 29, it de-energizes the, and the fan will go off. So these are very simple to, to set up. It's just a little push button on there to set the temperature. As you can see, it was uh, set to 29. You've got a little plus and minus. Yes, you have to press it till it's flashing and then you can set the temperature. In this mode here, it just shows you what the current temperature is. So again, if I hold the thermocouple there, 31 degrees it energizes. So that's a little way that we can control the fan and I've got to find hopefully inside here somewhere where we can tap off 12 volts to drive this circuit and also check out the type of fan that's in there and see if we can find a quieter version of it. Here I've lashed up the, uh, the arrangement now I found that the original fan, uh, if we can focus on this, is in fact a 24 volt fan, which is a little strange. So I needed to find uh, 12 volts. I found 15, but um, just for safety's sake, I don't know if this module would take 15, but I'm not going to chance it. So I have many of these little uh, El Cheapo regulators, so that's just taking the 24 volts down to 12, which we need to power the uh, the thermostat itself. And I found uh, in the in the pack rat stores, of course, uh, a, a nice little 12 volt fan, which uh, 
seems to be fairly fairly quiet I and mean, it's not a, not a ball bearing job but uh, it should work so again if we switch on I still have this set to uh, 29 plus the two degrees of uh, the hysteresis so now if I hold on to the thermistor and we get to 31 degrees the fan comes on so obviously this is going to be on the on the heat sink and that's I think going to be much quieter um, if it comes on at all as I say I'm not intending to use this for particularly high current usage so I think what I'll do as this um, indicates obviously the temperature is to put the thermistor onto the heat sink and uh, put it on a constant current mode maybe two amps and see what sort of temperature the uh, the heat sink gets up to and then I'll know better how to what temperature to set this to so getting down to 29 now and uh, it switches off so we'll get this onto the onto the heat sink and install the fan and uh, see where we can go from there I have the module installed now uh, it would have been perhaps nice to have had it either externally or or some way of viewing it but this is uh, is mild steel and we don't want swarf and stuff getting into the uh, electronics which would have meant stripping the entire thing down and I'm hardly likely to to really mess around with this once it's once it's set I have set the temperature on here to 40 degrees and the little thermistor uh, you can see there is just taped to the heat sink uh, I had some uh, some copper tape I think is meant for, for shielding but um, it makes a good obviously a good conductor so that just sits on the on the heat sink there and obviously the, the fan so we're all all good to go we can see that the uh, the temperature is is 30 degrees um, I've just got it set to 10 volts at the moment um, I've set the current limit to, to 2 amps so that's what I'm going to be used to using to, to test now we'll just do a quick test um, without the without the, the, the cover on um, obviously the airflow is dependent on having the, the, the cover on to draw the air through and, and, and blow it out the back there but um, just for the purposes of illustration if I take some leads and just that's two amp. Let's bring that down a little. Not desperately important, it's just uh, going to load it. So we can see the temperature now is uh, obviously going to start rising. And again, just uh, the hysteresis there of the two degrees, so that will actually get to 42 before the fan switches in. And we can see now that the relay is energized and indeed the, the fan is spinning. So as I said, I'm not going to, uh, to leave that on too long without the cover on. Um, what I have done, we'll just uh, remove the, the short, so that temperature will start to to come down. Now um, the other thing that I've done is to put the cover on and to, to test it. I just had a little peephole through the through the front here uh, so that I could see what the temperature was and it got up to around about 70-75 degrees and stabilized at that point still drawing two amps so I'm quite comfortable with with that. I'm, I'm sure that in in reality these things go uh, an awful lot higher in temperature so uh, I think that's that's working well and uh, my bench will be a lot quieter for it